Both sides met on Monday at the PSA's headquarters, and PSA President Watson Duke announced that he will be speaking in the Senate as a UNC temporary senator. They are giving me favorable considerations, not me, but the PSA, which I'm representing, favorable considerations to have a temporary senator for one day. The talks between the two sides come as the PSA intensifies its opposition to the plan to close Customs and Excise, the Board of Inland Revenue and the VAT office and replace them with the Revenue Authority. Duke insists this is not a move to politicize the PSA, but the union has been left with no option. If the law would have permitted, we would have been an independent senator. Or if the government had perhaps offered us the opportunity to sit and talk, we would not have been here. But they offered us an opportunity. They simply shut the door in our face. The UNC has stated its opposition to the bill already. Now Prasad Bissessar is accusing the government of having sinister motives. If government wants to get rid of those, they must come frontally. They must discuss this with the people of the country. You must get the voices of the people. That you say, look, you don't long want the PSA. You don't long want the PSC or Teaching Service Commission. You don't want these commissions. You want to privatize everything. Take that to the people. Get a mandate from the people. The UNC is prepared to pursue court action to stop the Trinidad and Tobago Revenue Authority bill from becoming law. For CNC3, I'm Satesh Mahabir.